hear that? Silence. Then the town where I'm living at the moment's got loads of events on today. Everywhere is just crazy busy and it's stressing me out. So I've driven to the middle of nowhere to do this vlog uh, just so it's nice and peaceful. This is van vlog number five. I actually made a vlog and edited it all last week but I'd done it when I was hungover and I watched it back today and it was just rubbish. So I'm refilming another one. This is where the van's at. Um, but the windows tinted. Uh, we're really happy with how it looks. Pretty cheap, um, gives us privacy and it also keeps the heat out. The build is finally finished, so I'll show you it um, and hopefully talk you through how we've done it. So, this is the corner sofa slash bed. Um, it pulls out into a double bed. Like that. Plenty of space. It was pretty easy to make. Um, so first we watched like tutorials on YouTube, how we wanted to do it. And then Lauren's cousin, Robert, was on holiday here from Scotland. He's a joiner and offered to help. So the first thing we done was go out and buy a big sheet of plywood, 18 mil. So it's nice and thick and definitely holds our weight. Um, and we screwed it onto here. Uh, on top of the frame then we measured out the slats the slats I made were too thin and the screws were too short as well so it would have definitely would have broke Robert done all of the cutting so he made all the slats and um, using this fancy saw this was the first bit we built and um, pretty simple all we need to do was measure each slat and screw it in this side and that side this was the tricky part to do and I'll try and explain it. I'm probably the worst person to explain any DIY. But um, we got this piece of wood, this beam, and we screwed each slat onto this bit first. Here, and um, there's a beam and uh, it keeps everything solid. Uh, each slat is screwed into that. Uh, we had to lie under the bed and screw every slat in. We made the front and the back slat slightly thicker just to stop it wobbling about so much when we pulled it out and then underneath we made these um, braces and that just stops the beam from falling uh, when you fold it away and as you can see it holds my weight no problem so does the part bit Plenty of space. Next thing to show you is this. So behind there is like an ugly scratched piece of metal. Um, and we just wanted to hide it away and make it look all neat. So we bought a thin sheet of ply and we cut this, uh, it's like an L shape and just screwed it onto the frame that I built. Uh, then we cut a thin piece for the top and also for the side as well. So we've got a nice shelf to put things on, or drinks and phones and stuff. And for the bed, we had a foam mattress in the house and we paid like a car upholsterer to cut it for us. Uh, so this is it. And then around the back is our kitchen area. So box this in, um, so there's storage behind that uh, under the bed. And then here is just a nice space for us to cook some food uh, and store all the kitchen stuff really. Uh, and this separates the kitchen from the bed nicely. It's nice and solid, that bracket's annoying but what can you do? So yeah, that's basically all of the build done. Um, super happy with it. The rest is up to Lauren. She can decorate it all however she wants um, but pff, I'm tired out from it all. I actually moved in two nights ago. Um, I was meant to move in like last week, but it wasn't finished in time. So I had to get an Airbnb for a few days. Uh, but yeah, I've stayed in there for two nights now. It's completely fine. The bed's really comfy. I can park up um, at the beach, cook some dinner, go for a swim in the sea. If I want to wake up with a mountain view, I can drive somewhere with that. If I want to wake up looking at the ocean, I can drive somewhere with the ocean. 
gonna change the vlog up a bit um, now that the van's built. So I'm gonna make one minute videos every day um, and post them on Instagram. Then at the end of the week, I'll put all seven videos together and post them on YouTube. I'm just gonna see how it goes for the first week. Um, hopefully it forces me to do some exciting things and get out instead of just sitting there reading my phone. Also, take a look at this place I found. Uh, I went to this RV camper van shop that sells all accessories. And then I found this English pantry. So I went in and they had everything that I've been missing in England. They had all of the crisps, all of the drinks, all of the sauce, all of the chocolate. Um, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's worth it. And also the crisps are on sale because they're out of date or something. They taste fine, but the $1 a packet, which is cheaper than England, super happy with that so that's it for today's vlog um it's sunday night so i'm just gonna chill out and watch some tv and park next to the beach so i can hear the ocean uh lauren's back on friday so i'm looking forward to that um yeah i'm gonna try and keep up with the daily vlog thing but it all depends on battery and stuff because i've got nowhere to charge things uh so yeah thanks for watching